Hi everybody and welcome to another video snippet. We are in the Moon Circle in Belgium and it's the second day of our Sacred Union retreat gathering here in, in Belgium. Mm. And Pete has had a wild and radical wow. revelation. Yeah, it's something in the spirit of that the are moving forward um, as as a, as a race as a species is dependent upon the feminine being the one that initiates that invites the masculine into being it comes from despite everything that the feminine has suffered and been through throughout the centuries that her ability to to rise and open as her authentic self and from that place invite the man or invite the masculine into rising together to her together with her into his own essence of being as the the pole opposite or opposite to her so beloved friends this manifested yesterday in our sacred union gathering um, i didn't know what i was doing but once I had the inner invitation from the inner oracle to present such an idea to Pete, then my human part came in and sort of chewed on it a little bit and went, oh my God, this is a big one. Will he be able to do it? Mm -hmm. da, 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 da. But not too much time was spent with that before the invitation for him actually was spoken. So before I explain what that was, I just want to say to the ladies that you have to have faith, complete beautiful faith in yourself mm. and the deep reason why you're inviting him to embody such a thing and profound, glorious, secret, smiling faith in him, mm. knowing that it is reachable, he will be able to mm. do this and not to go with that sense of doubt whatsoever, but to just go with glory, see him being glorious, victorious, and my favorite word today, triumphant. Mm. So maybe you explain how it actually came to pass yesterday. With, with? The hugger. Oh yeah. Um, we were, it, the situation had been that the ladies had, had uh, formed a circle around the men and were, giving their feminine essence to the men, so the men had no chance of mistaking uh, that, that part of, uh, of being. And then it was the men's turn. And we were, I, we were looking for a demonstration, how a man can be in it, fully present as a man with the, the power that that involves, but without being overtly aggressive towards anyone, and especially the feminine. And um, the only thing we could come up with is the, the Maori New Zealand uh, haka, which is so famous from uh, the All Blacks rugby team in their pre-match taunting of the opposition. Um, beautiful demonstration of the masculine and also demonstrates the missing rites and rituals of, of um, awakening from boy to man that's uh, so, so much missing in the Western world. And I got a bit carried away. I've actually got bruises on both legs today from slapping hard and <laughs> this kind of routine. But it was so empowering. Mm. And it was absolutely delightful to, to, to witness. I know because of Pete's uh, military days, there has been a part of him that's reluctant to go into that demonstration of masculine authority mm. and mm. leadership again bless his heart and so when I when the inner oracle said Maori energy we want Maori energy mm. I was like ooh so the doubting Thomas in me went ooh he might not be able to go there because um, he doesn't want to demonstrate that part of him anymore mm. so that was doubting Thomas but then in come radiant golden light that says he can do this perfectly mm. and not only is he going to do it for the group of men that are here he's going to do it for himself he can do this mm. and so 
Well, there was the it invitation. Was offered in that spirit, he can do this. Hmm. Yeah, so, so Anaya's belief in my ability, even though she didn't know in terms of facts that mm. I could do it, mm. the, the, the belief from her towards me, hey, this is for you to do kind of thing, yeah. was more than enough for me to step up. Um, because I very much feel that it is the belief of the feminine towards the masculine that he can actually get there is the saving grace, is the only true hope for a rebalance here on earth. Mm. It's that strong and that important. And what was so gorgeous was that he actually surpassed what I, <laughs> what, who I thought he was. Yeah. And uh, I was just stood there radiantly beaming at him because here he is, here is that beautiful mm. Pete Wilson in, not, not, not accessing, but fully in that glorious demonstration of tremendous male strength and mm. leadership mm. and being really clean with that. Mm. So again, the old love quota, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> up goes the love, mm. the love. And you know guys, you know, us, any of us being able to genuinely access that authentic masculine also encourages other men just like us to do the same. You know, I was having to bring on the energy. We were four men and I had to really reach deep so that I could, you know, not just access the energy for myself and for the ladies, but to encourage the other guys to, uh, to get in there as well. So the, the knock-on effect, you know, come, the invitation coming from the feminine encouraging specific men and they stepping up encouraging more men into a place of change and how that will affect, for example, the uh, father and son relationships. That's just potentially amazing how far, for once uh, young boys and young men can see their fathers in a, in a light that they can go, I want to be like that. That's the power I want to have in my life. That would be amazing. So, yeah, ladies, you, despite you, you have every reason to close down. You have every reason to shield yourself against the invasion of the masculine and what's happened to you over the centuries. But the invitation from, from the universe is despite all that, reach to your goddessness and choose, and it is a choice, choose despite all that to stay open and invite the masculine in, whether it's in the form of a man or ladies, if it's, if it's in the form of your own masculine, your own inner feminine, opening the space for your masculine to take its rightful place. That's about it, I think. Anything else? All right, All right see you again soon.